Welcome back with a new math tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the geometric sequence as the exponential function. So at the first, we need to know what is the meaning of the geometric sequence and what is the difference between the geometric sequence and the arithmetic sequence. For the geometric sequence, to find the next term, you multiply the same number in each time. But for the arithmetic sequence, you need to add the same number in each time. We can see that for the first question. We need to determine whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric. For number one, we have 256, 128. 64 and 32. So you need to check if you add or multiply the same number in each time. So for the first one, we have 256, then 128, it means the numbers decrease. Decrease, it means you subtract or divide. So for the first one, 256 minus 128, that you subtract 128. So to find the next difference, 128 minus 64 equals 64. It means you subtract 64. You will find that the difference between them is not the same. So it's not arithmetic. So to check if that's arithmetic or not, try to find the common difference between them. Now we need to check if that's geometric or not. To check if that's geometric, you need to find the common ratio. So what is the ratio between them? To find the ratio between them, divide 128 by 256. You will find that the answer will be 1 over 2. It means in each time you multiply by 1 over 2. Now 64 divided by 128 you will find that the ratio will be 1 over 2. The next one, 32 divided by 64 equals 1 over 2. It means we have a common ratio. Because we have a common ratio, it means they multiply in each time by 1 over 2. So this sequence is geometric sequence. For number 4, we need to check if that's arithmetic or not. So at the first, negative 15 minus negative 20, it will be positive 5. It means you add 5. The next one. Negative 10 minus negative 15, it will be positive 5. It means you add 5. Negative 5 minus negative 10, it will be positive 5. Because you add the same number in each time, so it will be arithmetic sequence. For the next question, we have 4, 9, 12, and 18. At the first, I will check if that's arithmetic or not. So for the first one, 9 minus 4 equals positive 5. 12 minus 9 equals positive 3. The common difference is not the same, so it would be not arithmetic. Now we need to check if that's geometric or not. 9 divided by 4 equals 9 over 4. 12 divided by 9, it would be 12 over 9. In the simplest form, it would be 4 over 3. You will find that the common ratio is not the same. So it would be, it's not arithmetic and not geometric. So it would be neither. In number 5, we have 2, 8, 14, and 22. So for the first one, 8 minus 2 equals 6. It means we add 6. 14 minus 8 equals 6. 22 minus 14 equals 6. Because you add the same number in each time and the common difference is the same, so it will be arithmetic sequence. In this problem, we need to find the next three terms in each geometric sequence. It means all of this sequence are geometric sequence. It means you multiply the same number in each time. So to find this number, divide. Negative 4 divided by 1 equals negative 4. It means you multiply it by negative 4. 16 divided by negative 4 equals negative 4. You multiply it by negative 4. Negative 64 divided by 16 equals negative 4. It means you multiply by negative 4. So to find the next number, you need to multiply by negative 4. Negative 64 times negative 4 equals 256. If you multiply it by negative 4 equals negative 1024. If you multiply it by negative 4, it would be 4096. The next one. 9, 3, 1, and 1 over 3. 3 divided by 9 equals 1 over 3. 1 divided by 3 equals 1 over 3. 1 over 3 divided by 1 equals 1 over 3. It means in each time we multiply it by 1 over 3. Now we need to find the next term. 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 equals 1 over 9. Times 1 over 3 equals 1 over 27. Times 1 over 3 equals 1 over 81. And now with the most important part of the list, how we can find the nth term of the geometric sequence. So at the first, what is the meaning of the nth term? When I ask you to find the term number 5, you need to find the previous term. When I ask you to find the term number 10, you need to find all of the previous. And when I ask you, I need to find the term number 100, you need to find 99 term before it. So I need a formula to find. When I ask you, I need the term number 10, without finding all of the previous, we can find it. So how we can find it? At the first, we need to understand the relation. So at the first, when I ask you to write the sequence, you need to find the first term. What is the first term defined by A1? To find the next term, you need to multiply by number. This number defined by the common ratio. 
the common ratio so we can say that it equals r so to find the next term it will be the first term multiplied by r to find the term number three it will be a1 times r the second term multiplied by r r times r we can say it will be r to the power two. so the first term equals a1 the second term a1r the third term a1r to the power two the fourth term so it will be a1 times r to the power three the fifth term a1 times r to the power four so we have a relation now between the number of term and the power in all cases you will find that the power is less than the order of the term by one so we can say that a n which is the nth term equals a1 multiplied by r to the power n minus 1 where a1 is the first term r is the common ratio n is the order of the term write an equation for the nth term for the sequence negative 6 12 negative 24 48 then find the ninth term so number one you need to find a1 what is the value of a1 a1 it's mean the first term the first term here which is negative 6 now we need to find r so what is the value of r r is the common ratio to find it 12 divided by negative 6 or negative 24 divided by 12 48 divided by negative 24 all of them you will find the same number which is negative 2 so now we can find the nth term we know that the formula is equal a n equals a1 times r to the power n minus 1 by substitution so a n equals a1 which is negative 6 multiplied by r which is negative 2 all to the power n minus 2 and that is the nth term now we need to find the ninth term ninth term it's mean n equals 9 i need the term number 9 so a9 is equal a1 which is negative 6 times negative 2 to the power 9 minus 1 9 minus 1 which equals 8 so it will be negative 6 times negative 2 to the power n minus 2 which is 8 which equals negative 1536 so the answer will be negative 1536 write an equation of the nth term of the geometric sequence 96 48 24 and 12 then find the tenth term so to solve this problem at the first we need to find a1 a1 which is the first term which equals 96 now we need to find r which is the common ratio the common ratio 48 divided by 96 the second divided by the first third divided by the second fourth divided by the third which equals 1 over 2 now we need to find the nth term a n is equals a1 times r to the power n minus 1 by substitution so we can say that a n is equals a1 which is 96 times 1 over 2 to the power n minus 1 now we need to find the tenth term tenth term it means the term number 10 so we need now n equals 10 by substitution so a 10 is equals 96 times 1 over 2 to the power 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 which equals 9 then by using calculator 96 times 1 over 2 to the power 9 which equals 3 over 60 so the answer now would be equals 3 over 60 and that's all about the geometric sequence as an exponential function